Hello cherub faces. Today we are going through the requested vlogs as per requested by you, Dreamboats. And today's one is focusing on the tumble dryer. So we are gonna head down now to the tumble dryer room, cubby hole, little section. And I'm gonna show you the best ways to clean your tumble dryer. When it comes to cleaning our tumble dryers, most of us know the lint tray needs cleaning out, but there is so much more to it than just removing the lint. I'm gonna show you in this vlog how we can keep our tumble dryers well cleaned, and in turn, this keeps them a healthy, maintained tumble dryer, which should last you the lifespan of the dryer. The products we are gonna be using in today's vlog are a vacuum cleaner with your dust attachment, whatever vacuum cleaner you've got. I am using Henry Hoover today because Mr. Will keeps asking for it to appear on a vlog. So here he is. Um, so go ahead and grab your dust attachment. We are also gonna be using fabric softener. Um, I am using the yellow flavor today. Blue flavor is currently not in. Amy's help house. This is my second favourite choice, yellow flavour. Smells lovely. We are also going to be using our OXO Good Grip attachment, some kitchen roll, and in here I have a cloth, and one side I have some antibacterial dish soap, which is where it's all bubbly, and then the other side I have the fabric softener in some hot water. So I'm just gonna place that down here for now, because we are gonna be using that shortly. Now, the first thing you guys wanna do is go ahead and take out your filter. This is my filter. As you can see, it is, I mean, look at that. They get really, really, really clogged. See? And the best way to make sure that your filter remains clean is every so often, so this has been going all week, I've been in and out with the towels and the kids clothes and they've been in and out of the garden in their swimwear, so just everything's been going through the tumble dryer and the bedding. What you want to do is to make sure that you've got it clean, you don't want to just remove the lint, you also want to wash it. And the best way to make sure that there's no um, lint left inside the lint tray is go ahead and put it in our fabric softener solution. You can do it in a sink if you've not got a bucket. I just brought the bucket over here for ease. And this is a really good Hayley Turtle hack as well because your washing will smell gorge because some of the um, fabric softener will cling to the tray that we're now cleaning. And then you just wanna make sure that you've given it a really good clean. And this is where we are gonna go in with our good grips. So my lint tray, there's lots of like little gaps in it. The, um, what we wanna achieve in this is you don't want anything left on your screen. We'll move over to the sink in a second where I'm gonna then rinse it under cold water and we're gonna keep repeating this process. But basically, the end result you want is the fabric softener solution to run through without any bits on it. So, get inside all of the little nooks and crannies with your OXO Good Grips. This will just pull out any of the dust that's left in there, if you've got one of these ones with the silicon end, these work a dream at getting any kind of debris that's stuck in there out. These are really, really good without actually breaking the drawer itself because we don't want that. And you just want to keep going over it until it comes up. We're going to leave that soaking in here for a second while we press on to the next phase in our tumble dryer cleanup. So, we've taken the lint tray out. You then obviously have the 
dip bit inside where the lint tray goes that I can see my one is full of lint. So to get that out, I'm just going to use the dust attachment on um, my vacuum cleaner. If it's really, really big bits, remove it manually with your hands. These aren't huge bits, but there's just little bits stuck around the edge. So I'm going to go in with the dust attachment and remove those now. Bacteria. The reason why is um, the cycle that you put it on, a tumble dryer gets really hot, thus killing off the germs and bacteria. However, if you are someone who has children and you don't regularly check their um, school clothes or if they are a budding artist and you end up with crayons in the pockets of their trousers, this has happened to me before, and they fall out in your tumble dryer, what can happen is the crayon then melts onto the inside. So, here is another hack for you guys. What you wanna do is close your door on your machine, set it onto the hottest cycle, run it for about 10 minutes. This is then gonna go ahead and melt. What you then wanna do is open it up and go in with a damp cloth and clean away any of the excess crayon that is lurking in here because otherwise every load that you do you're going to just be putting um, crayon on your clothes and it is a pain in the neck to shift and it can destroy your stuff. I mean we've had all sorts in here before like ink explosions and it's just the joys of being a mum you know. So um, yeah that is what you want to do if that's the case. If not, then you're good to go with the inside. This doesn't need putting loads of buckets of stuff in there. Just leave it as it is, leave it dry. Okay, now we're gonna press on to the door. Once again, I, I've got lots of um, lint that has got stuck around the edge of the door. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that off again with the dust attachment on my vacuum and get rid of any lingering lint. Okay, so here's the thing with tumble dryers. When it comes to cleaning tumble dryers, your vacuum is actually your best friend in terms of cleaning it up. You don't want to start like with the washing machine, it's a completely different process because obviously the washing machine stays um, where it's to wash clothes. Um, you haven't seen me do anything with the vacuum on the washing machine because you don't want to damage your vacuum. And it's similar with the tumble dryer. You don't want to start putting loads of solution and stuff into the dryer it's dry you want to go ahead and use dry tools as much as you can with the exception being the filter is okay to go into water and um, this outlet part I'm going to show you now we're going to move on to that can also be washed as well but other than that you don't want to start um, placing loads of water within your tumble dryer um, obviously if you have a crayon or something like that in there go ahead and heat it up and then you can go in with a damp cloth but you don't need to start saturating it don't start smothering the whole thing with water okay so now we are going to press on to the actual vent so mine is a condenser dryer so the tumble dryers will be different depending on what you've got some will have like a vent that goes out side into the wall um, for a tube through the back if you've got a condenser dryer then this is how you would clean your condenser dryer um, but if you've got 
a vent that goes outside, you need to make sure that that is being cleaned regularly because if the vent is blocked, it can cause um, house fires. So, Jesus fix it. I'm gonna show you guys the vent of my um, condensed dryer. It's the worst. So this comes out, that is currently the state of it. I mean, this is fine to go, this is gonna go in the solution as well. This bucket isn't big enough, so we're gonna press over to the sink in a second and I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and clean it all in the sink. But that needs to come out and then this part also needs to come out. Look at that. I mean, hello. So what I tend to do with this is, this will get put into the shower and I will rinse it in the shower. I've got a little attachment, like a hair catcher thing that can go in first and I make sure that this gets showered down. It's absolutely fine to do that, but you wanna remove all of the lint that's got trapped into this part of your dryer. That needs to be removed. And also the inside of the drawer, mine isn't looking too bad, but I'll just show you with some kitchen roll, the stuff that comes out from in here that has got trapped. It's basically just wet lint, but it's just, it's really gross and it can damage your tumble dryer if you're not keeping on top of these things. So that is from the inside. I know, right? It's disgusting. So um, yeah, once you've done that, this part you don't want to touch with your vacuum cleaner because especially if it's a condenser one, well, I guess either or, actually, because where it's the hot air that's pumping out, it will be damp. So don't go in with your um, vacuum because it's just gonna end up clogging it up. You wanna do this manually and some kitchen roll is absolutely fine or a clean um, cloth is fine. You can use a dampish sort of cloth if you want, but just don't use anything soaking wet in these particular parts of the tumble dryer. So let's press on now to, now we've got all the elements out that we're gonna be cleaning, let's relocate to the bathroom and we're gonna clean them up now. Second. 
and just give it a good wipe over with your dish soap. And like I showed you guys on the washing machine vlog, if you've got any um, toenail varnish <laughs> on your appliances, you can go ahead and scrub it with the good grips and it comes off. Okay. Once you are happy with how your machine is looking, there's a couple of dusty bits down here at the base that I'm just going to damp dust. And a bit like the um, washing machine as well, any kind of cracks and crevices that you've got, um, just go over them to pull out any dust that's lingering, but generally you should be able to get most of it and you want to try and get most of it with your vacuum cleaner. So, honestly, my hair, I'm like Chewbacca, it literally touches, every, everywhere I look, I'm like, either I'm sh shedding like some sort of like German Shepherd, or I don't know. What is the situation here? So, here's our clean stuff that we brought down from the bathroom. That can now go back in to the, um, the unit, like so. And then we can put this part on as well. Like that, just make sure you clip it back on with the clips on the front of it. And I've just spotted another little bit of dust there. There we go. And then you can go ahead and clip the front back onto the machine as well. Henry Pest. Now that is done, we are going to press on to cleaning the actual front of the machine. For this, it's entirely up to you what you use. You can either go over it with your antibacterial dish soap, which is what I am going to be using today, um, or you can go for a more um, natural cleaning method, I guess. You can use something like white vinegar, I just don't like the smell of it though, it just doesn't smell nice, but um, I know some of you guys on here prefer natural cleaning methods, so um, white vinegar is fine to use as well if you choose to. Our filter is still soaking in our fabric softener solution. I am now gonna, oh, it smells so nice. I am now gonna take it out and um, leave that on the side just to drip dry, and we are gonna close the door and press on to cleaning the front of the machine. Okay, so. Here, like these bits here, you can just run the vaccine over them. For the actual machine itself, we are just going to give it a quick wipe down. So you're going to wipe down the top of it. You can also wipe down the front, go over the door, and then this is just to sanitize it more than anything. I mean, if you've got like marks on it, then you can go over them as well. There's a couple of scuff marks on this. Why does my stuff get so scuffed? So weird. Okay, and then once you have given it a quick wipe over, you can then go ahead and dry it off with either a clean microfiber cloth or some kitchen roll. Whatever you have got to hand is fine. And again, 
again, Nikart washing machine. To get into these little crevices here, you can just go in with one of your good grips, brushes, Timmy the tumble dryer lives to fight another day. He is done. We can go ahead and put our filter back into the tumble dryer now. The vents of your dryer, depending on how many of you are in your family, if you've got a large family, you want to make sure that this vent bit here, you need to clean it at least three times a year, if not more three or four times a year, you wanna make sure you're cleaning that. If you don't have a um, really large family and it's only like you or one other person or you tend to not use your tumble dryer that often, then um, you can go ahead and do it yearly. But if you are a big family, I would advise that you do it three to four times a year, just clean it out. Um, like I've shown you in the video, go and use your tub, to clean it and like I said if you've got one where the vent is at the back of your machine go ahead round to the back of your machine and just give it a good clean out to make sure that it's free of any lint any hair because it does get quite wet and then it just gets clogged um, and it can be dangerous in terms of um, the machine and, it can, and no one wants their tumble dryers to break I mean I don't know what I'd do without my tumble dry now I've got it because it's just so handy when you need to get stuff dry and I can't put a lot of my stuff out on the line um, because I get really really bad hay fever um, and my eldest son also gets allergies so I can't really have stuff out on the line. I do sometimes put a few things out there but generally I use Timmy the tumble dryer. So there you go, that is our tumble dryer clean. And that's the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching the vlog today guys. I hope you have all enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead and smash the like button. Don't forget to click subscribe to become a part of the Haley's Help family. And also head on over to the Haley's Help Home Instagram. I have set up a brand new base page for us all. Um, on here I'm going to be adding all of my homewares and just stuff around my home. I will still have my Haley's Help Instagram account as well so you can flip between the two. So head over now and hit the follow button. I will appreciate it greatly. And I will be back again on Wednesday. We are going to be doing the hub date with Haley, which is where I get to come on here live and speak to you gorgeous people. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a party. I'm going to bring my tonic water and we're just going to have some general silliness. Bring along any questions that you've got as well and I will try my best to answer them, whatever they are. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Look after yourselves, stay hydrated, be kind, take care of each other. Bye.